Thank you, Ethel Waters. And standing beside me is a young man you've been reading about in your Crusade News Bulletin. A year ago at LSU, at this Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, we had Tom Lester, who's Ebb on Green Acres, come and give us a word of testimony. He said something then that was quite significant because this last year there have been a lot of changes take place in his life, but I'm going to let him tell you about it. Let's welcome all the way from Hooterville today, Tom Lester. Shall we, Tom? We're Thank glad you. to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cliff, and thank you, Dr. Graham and the members of this team for inviting me to be here and share Christ. And I thank you people in Texas for your love for Jesus Christ. Yes, last year in Baton Rouge, I shared my personal testimony. I shared how I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior to forgive me of my sins, how I was born again. And I felt that God had a plan for my life. And every time I began to think of what God wanted for my life, I began to believe that he wanted me to go to Hollywood and become an actor. And all my friends said, well, Tom, you'll never make it because you're too tall, you're too skinny, you're too ugly, and you got a southern accent. And, and so I tried a lot of things, and they didn't work out. And so finally I had enough faith in God to believe that he could do what he wanted to do in my life. And I went to Hollywood, California, and he put me on Green Acres. And I believe that God put me on Green Acres only for one reason. Because since I've been Ebb on Green Acres, I've been able to go all across this country and share Jesus Christ with young people and adults. And a lot of my friends have said, yes, but you're happy right now because you're on Green Acres. But if that show was canceled, you wouldn't be happy anymore. But I stand before you people tonight, and I tell you that Green Acres was canceled last March. And I'm just as happy tonight as I was the day that I got Green Acres. Because you see, I don't have to worry about my life. Jesus Christ is running my life. I'm totally dependent upon Him. And if God wants me to continue in the acting profession, then He'll open up doors for me. And if He wants me to do something else, then He'll open up other doors for me. And the great thing is I don't have to worry about my life. And what kind of a Christian would I be if as long as things were going pretty good, I was all on God's side. But when things got a little rough and I had to struggle, I turned against God. I praise God when things are good, and I praise God for the struggles in my life. Because of the struggles in my life, I've been able to grow as a Christian. And because Green Acres was canceled last year, I've had many more opportunities to share Christ across the country. And it's really neat to be able to stand before a group of people like you and share Christ. But the greatest blessing I've had is when I've been able to personally tell somebody about Jesus Christ. One young man comes to mind. I began to talk to him and he was shaking all over. I said, what's wrong, brother? And he said, I'm on all kinds of drugs. And I said, well, what's wrong with your life? He said, my life has no purpose and no meaning. He said, nobody loves me and nobody cares for me. I said, I know somebody that loves you and somebody that cares for you. And he said, who is that? And I said, that's Jesus Christ. He loves you so much he died for you on a cross. And that boy came to know Christ. And I've got a letter right here in my Bible from him, him telling me how much he loves Christ. And this has been such a blessing to my life. Yes, folks, I can't run my own life. And I can't do my own thing. And I can't be my own God. But praise God for Jesus Christ, who is my Lord and Savior and who can run my life, and who can do his thing through me. And I just pray to God tonight that those of you out there who've never accepted Christ will realize that the only way you'll ever have real peace and real freedom in life is coming to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Thank you very much, and God bless you. I love you all. One way.